the only one that I didn't write notes for. Uh, I've seen this movie a bunch of times, and uh, uh, you know, spoiler alert: huge fan of the film. Right? Love the film. I love the acting. I love the set design. I love uh, 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 the art design. I love the 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 uh, uh, the the the, the I love the way Jordan Peele created tension in this movie by using simple constructs that we have to deal with on a day to day basis. Right. Yeah. And it's like very specifically for somebody like Monty, who exclusively dates white ladies. Right. I can only imagine the, 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 the sheer terror and horror you felt watching this film. Like this must have just been like a day in your life, Monty. <laughs> Like I, it, it, but that's what makes the movie so good is that it is it it is a very realistic horror scenario. It's like man, I I also get very nervous when I'm around too many white people. Like when I look around, I'd be like, man, is there's nobody else black here? All right, I'm just I start I get I get a little I've, antsy like the police. I've seen this me. firsthand, yo. So yeah, I, I get I, nervous I, when I'm around too many white people. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. No, we're evil as fuck, dude. Like, it's, it's, yeah, that's like, that's like, and, like and, we're and, evil as fuck. And it's, yeah. it's not even like a conservative thing. Like, oh, if I hang around too many conservatives, too many libertarians. Like, if I if like I, I, if I, if I'm around too many like you know coastal elite whites, right? They're like the first thing they like to do is tell me how many times they voted for Obama. So I <laughs> like that part of the movie really resonated yes, with my spirit. The shit out of me too, man. Those <clears> ones <throat> yes. the shit out of me. I'm just like, like you. You know what scene scared me the most in Get Out? There's a scene in the very beginning of the movie. Daniel Kaluuya uh, and his girlfriend uh, are riding to meet her parents, and before they go meet her, her parents, he's like, "Hey, do your parents know that I'm black?" And she was like, why should I have told them that? Okay, first off, you shouldn't have went on that motherfucking trip, okay? That was the first sign yep. that you was about to have a bad time, okay? <laughs> when he got in the car, they're driving down the road, hit a deer, right? And then the police pull up on him, they pull up on them. And then the, the cop is talking to the girl, ask her for her license. And then he turned around and asked Daniel Kaluuya for his license too, right? And in that yep. moment, she was like, what do you need to see his license for? The first thing I said was, shut the fuck up, bitch. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> shut up. You about to get me in trouble. <laughs> yes. Okay? And that is the and that is the magic of this movie. It is like, it takes very realistic situations with very real-time implications, right? You know, that a lot of black folks I know, especially people that exclusively date white ladies, like my friend Monty. Oh, where is he? <laughs> Damn. Right? Just like Monty. You know, right. somebody like if you exclusively date, date uh, 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 eggshell colored ladies, then I understand the, 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 how horrible that must be for you on a regular basis. Yeah, the movie is incredible. Like, I'm also a huge fan of the score work for this film. Oh, my God, yeah. How they use, like, um, as, as a music producer, right? Listening yeah. to the way that they'll use, like, like just like a string section, just like hitting the bow real hard, you know, and it just makes kind of a screeching squeal sound. Yeah, right? score is real important in a horror movie, real yeah, yeah. important. And Get yeah. Out, they did a good job with that. Yeah, yeah, sure. uh, like yeah. the like the score of a film can make or break a movie, and it's one of those oh, things yeah. that for a lot of people is wallpaper, right? Most people don't even notice what the music is doing and how it creates the atmosphere or the environment. Sometimes it's not even music. Sometimes it's just creating tones and ambiance. Beyond, right that's, just that's like white people white people do because <laughs> we, they have no school that's why you, you know, know like I, yeah i like all of that like and they did an excellent job with that shit right like fucking i love the scene where uh he uh they're like oh yeah we're having this family gathering this weekend and then the family comes by where well, all of these these white people come by and they're just looking at him and they're sizing him up and it's like hey man how strong are you how fast yeah how, how fast can you run how much can you bitch do you think that right now is more beneficial to be black or less beneficial to be black which let me go ahead and answer that question there has been no time in history when it has been more beneficial to be black and 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 I will prove it with the time travel question. Uh, when you ask your white friends, especially your white male friends, hey, if you could time travel to any time, what period would you like to go back to? And they got all these great answers. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to see the birth, the rise and fall of the Roman Empire. Oh, I would love to see uh, how Stonehenge was built. Oh, I would love to see this. Oh, I'd love to see that. 
for black people, it's like, hey, if I can time travel to any time, you can't go past 1975. Yep. yep. Okay? There's no other time you were safe. Yep. True. Uh, True. Yeah, that's it. I, I'm not trying. Like, I don't want to see what the 1800s yeah. look like. I read about it in school. I give it zero yeah. stars. I would like yeah. to go back and watch the first I... SD card get made. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have to interject here because because there were moments. Now uh, you were pointing out that there were moments where you know is really those they, they did they did capture those really awkward moments where white people are asking really awkward questions to a black person. You know what I mean? Now and that's disturbing, right? But I have to interject because what made it weird to me was that's when I my red flags went up because usually there's a white person, there's always at least one white person that will look at that white person who asked that really awkward question and go, dude, that didn't happen. <laughs> that didn't happen once. And then no, I yeah. was like, oh, all these white people are evil. Something's wrong here. <laughs> yeah. Something's definitely yeah. wrong here. Right immediately. Because mm. there was nobody who interjected and went, dude. What are you right. Hey, hey, man, not okay. That's not cool. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Not, not a, a single right. person there, right? And it. and look, listen, I'll be honest with you. Like, there have been a lot of times when I've been in all white spaces and I've been the only speck of pepper in the South. And yeah. I'd be like, man, I hope these motherfuckers don't want to harvest, bar- harvest my organs or some shit. <laughs> Who's next? Right. What, they, what, they, what they got to say about me? You, you know what? Let's just go. I've heard. You, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going uh, to go next with this. Like, I, but before I do, like, I fucking did not want to do any of this Mm -hmm. so i tried a few times and uh here's one of the times i tried watching this movie with zoe just to set up what we're about to get into zoe just show show this video up there oh my god (laughs) what in the hell is this there you go all right I already feel bad for Zoe. I don't even know why. You know, you know what? Fair. I'm voting fair on that. I know this isn't a fair file, but it's a fair file for Monty to take uh, uh, Zoe's tea from her watching. Yeah, it's fair, okay? <coughs> and I brought the shit to her. Uh-huh. And, like, but... Uh, yeah, yeah uh, absolutely abused. The, yeah, yeah, I... Uh, abused them. I finally sat and watched it alone. Um, <laughs> and this, this movie is probably... It's probably the scariest horror movie I've ever seen. I, mm-hmm. Ah, fuck. No, but but I'll, I'll, I'll break down my thoughts. Like, the scene with her talking to the cops, I didn't feel the same as you, Hannibal. Like, I think that scene plays two different ways mm-hmm. based on how you watch the movie. Because at first, it looks like she's standing up for him. And then at the end, you realize, oh, she just didn't want him to be able to be tracked. You can't look at his, his license and put him in the system. Then you know where he was going. Ooh. Ooh. But see, see, Monty got that first hand experience with white girl, so he knows. He he he, he fucking knows. I I didn't know that shit. I, okay. You yes. Just, you just taught me something. You just changed the game, son. <clears throat> but but it looks heroic at first. It's like, no, 
He doesn't have to do that. And then they're talking in the car, and he's all happy with her. But but then then we get to him. There were so many times where he would have left, like I should have left. Because I look at it, and me in that situation, the second time I walk in the room that I'm staying in, and I see my phone unplugged and dead, mm-hmm. I'm out. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. out. And I- and when that one, when when... And the day after, after being hypnotized, I get him getting up that day and thinking, maybe that was a weird dream. Maybe it was a weird dream. Then, he, he, you know, you see the other black dude chopping wood. Nobody else is around. You're like, all right, nobody else is around. Let me go talk to him. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe we can just talk right now. Maybe he I'll, can't I'll talk do that. in front I'll of you. I do him. that sometimes. Yep. Yeah, because that's, that's the vibe. It's like, mm-hmm. he's looking around. Maybe he can't talk like that in front of them. So let me get over there and see what's up over here. You walk over to him, and he's talking like he's talking. And he's like, well, guess I better get to work, get back to work, and minding my business. After he told him that he saw him getting hypnotized, I go in and tell the, 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 the lady I went with, I'm like, look, I got to go. You can come with me, or you can stay here. This is your family. Do what you want. Give him my fucking keys. I'm out. He tried that. No, he tried that at the end. After it was yeah, way too uh, far into the game, he was yeah, way too deep. Yeah, he, he, he was he way too deep. He tried that after being hypnotized. Like, first yeah. off, you can't you can't involuntarily hypnotize me. I got too many warrants out yeah. here. You can't right. be just fucking. Yeah, right. you try you do that at the beginning. Like I know, look for the fucking signs. The mm. the the second is too much. You look at her and go, look, I'm out. I'm going. You can come with me, or you can stay here. This is your family, but I'm out. I'm leaving in ten minutes. My bag's already packed. I'm dipping out. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee. I'm gonna say bye to your family. I'm gonna make something up, but I'm gone. Mm-hmm. He didn't do that. He didn't do that. Cause, cause creepy brother wasn't around to stop him at that point, swinging a fucking croquet stick or whatever the fuck that was. Yeah. Yeah, um, lacrosse. Lacrosse, lacrosse, whatever lacrosse, it is. Maybe, maybe whatever white people play. Lacrosse. It was a lacrosse thing, yeah. Yeah, I, I, see? It, it, I, thought it, I thought it was high lie at first because they seemed rich enough where they might play high lie, but then white people don't no. usually play high lie. That's more yeah. like an Argentinian thing, right? Like I don't know what American. any of that shit is. I don't know what it is. You playing it, you trying to hit me in the head with it. I don't want <laughs> that to happen. So get the fuck out, and like the, the movie shouldn't have gone that far. He was too stupid. He stayed around too long. Yeah. Like, don't, don't, don't do it. Like, it's, there were too many things stacking up. Like, look, and and he had his answer when he got the black dude away from the white people. Like, all right, (laughs) you work here. You can't talk like you normally talk around these people. I get it. I got you now where you're just cutting wood. What's up, bro? How you doing? Oh, still? Yeah, got even weirder. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, whoa, we we done. We done. I'm gone. I'm yeah. gone. <laughs> so like they would because he he said something weird, like he was like, Isn't she a isn't she a, a healthy young lass? Don't you think yeah. so? Or something like the, the the smile and shit. I'm like, uh uh-uh, uh, no, I got to go. This nigga I, first off, I don't trust no nigga you that people. ain't never heard uh, uh doggy style from Snoop Dogg. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I don't trust no you people that yeah. ain't heard doggy style from uh, uh, I'm sorry, but, I slipped up. My bad. But yeah, yeah, it, just, that's, it was just there was there was some things that happened in that movie. I'm sorry. Yeah, too too many too too many things, and then mm-hmm. and and then he with all that stacked up, he gets to the point where he takes the picture of that dude, and he looks at him with blood dripping down his nose and says, "Get out, get out," and he still stayed another night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That that yeah, moment once, when he yeah go go ahead, Glare. Oh, I was saying once that dude stepped in and that happened, you know, and 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 then his friend after he called him, he he confirms that they know him. Yeah. At that point, he that's when he finally okay. Now I'm correcting myself because at that point, that's yeah. when he says, "Okay, we gotta go." Yeah. Right. Yeah. Get yeah. your keys. Find yeah. your keys. Let's go. Uh, but it built but up to that, that great scene with the keys. It shouldn't have gone that far. Yeah, I yeah. agree with you. It shouldn't. Have, yeah. yeah. It did build up to that great scene with the keys, like. You got some keys? You got the keys! The keys! Yeah, yeah, uh, That yeah, scene yeah. was fun. Because, <laughs> yeah, now of course was, you're freaking out like that. You should have left. The Nicolas Cage thing, but with keys instead of bees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At that point, he should have left 
17 scenes ago, but now he's in this moment. I need them keys. I got to get out of here. And then when he screams, dude swings the thing at his head. It's like, oh, it's on now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but but I never, ever, ever want to watch this movie again. Um, <laughs> that's That was all both what I loved and hated about it. Uh-huh. And But I will say it is a great fucking movie that I will mm. never, ever watch again. I have to give this movie an A+. It's that good. It's that well Yeah. Well made. Yeah, same. I, but, I, I, I didn't give my grade yet. I was I, I thought we were saving the grades till after, but yes. I, uh, yeah. I'll never okay. watch it again. All right. The, the glare. Tell us, what did you think about about Get Out? What was, how did you feel re- revisiting the film? Because uh, you, uh, you were just telling us that you rewatched it today, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Like, just, I just finished it just before we went live. Nice. Um, so... First off, I got to tell you, I don't usually watch a lot of horror movies because they just don't scare me. Mm -hmm. Uh, When I was a kid, they scared me more. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I was really enthusiastic about watching these three horror movies specifically Mm -hmm. because they were they were suggested to me by Monty via DM. uh, And then I realized I was like, okay, wait a minute. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be the only white guy reviewing <laughs> reviewing three black horror movies with yeah. So I was like, I'm scared out of my fucking mind. I'm in. So I'm fucking he white. I'm totally yeah yeah yeah. I'm scared as shit right now. But um, I gotta say, get out though. Uh, I I. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned that he took too long to leave because uh, <laughs> I felt validated. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I was like every every stand up comedian that I grew up listening to that was black that was saying, Oh, I don't understand white people. White people they'll, they'll stay in the house. Every time there's a ghost, they stay in the house and they never yes. leave and blah blah yes. blah. And I'm sitting there watching this black dude and going, What about you, motherfucker? What are you doing? <laughs> Why haven't you left yet? Yeah, I, so I, I felt was... very validated. So so yeah. far, that's a good score on that movie. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. have to agree with Monty. Now it was weird because again, there was from a like a black perspective, I could see how that was scary as fuck because you're yes. just surrounded by all these white people, and they're. And and it was I could see the awkwardness that like the dude was trying real hard and talking about Jesse Owens and everything like that and you're just like Jesus man stop you know um, <laughs> yeah it was, it was really awkward the, yeah the, when he starts talking about shooting the deer he's like oh man we just ought to just round them all up yep. and just kill them all right <laughs> you know they're, they're fucking menaces they're just in, an invasive species <laughs> you. Know, you, you you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm gonna punch you in your motherfucking face. Why, dude? Like, yeah, I do know what you're talking about, motherfucker. What? That's when Hannibal would have left at the deer. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I listen. I'm first, first off. I was like, hey, man, I would. I the movie would have ended with at the part was like, hey, does your family know that I'm black? And then she was like, should they know? You could just roll the credits. The movie oh, over. I'm not yeah, going. <laughs> I'm not going, okay? I, I dated a mixed girl in college. And when and, and I met her. And her mama. And they lived in Chalmette, Monty, okay? Oh, they lived, oh which, shit. Yeah, Sh- Chalmette. A mixed Chalmation? She was a Chalmation. Yes, she was yeah. Chalmette. Chalmation right? is the worst part of all of that. That's the yeah. only bad part. It was a Chalmation. That's all you yeah. had to say. So look, listen. I get there, and like, and like first off, I get to her yeah, house, Asia, Shalmation, and they Black, got Shalmation, two White timber Shalmation. wolves. No, nope. They got they got two timber wolves in the yard. No, nope. and I'm like, no, nope. and I was like, those is those dogs is as big as hell. And she's like, oh, they're not dogs, they're wolves. See, there was a sign right there that I needed to leave, right? But I went in the side, you know, so end up going inside, meet her mom. Her mom was white. We hanging out. We eat, and we were at the dinner table eating dinner. Her mom is a huge Wesley Snipes fan. Her, her <laughs> white mama has the biggest crush on earth on Wesley Snipes. She thinks Wesley Snipes is the finest motherfucker on the planet. She had three different Wesley Snipes posters on the wall. There was Blade. I get it. There was Simon Phoenix and Passenger 57. Okay? She had three, Always different, on black. three different posters of, of, of Wesley Snipes on her wall. We're eating dinner. And then she tells me, Willie, 
I'm sure you are a wonderful young man, and I can tell that you care about my daughter, but I don't want my daughter dating somebody as dark as you because I want the babies to have good hair. She looked me in my motherfucking face and said that shit. She told me that shit to my face, and I'm like, ooh, I would have swung on that bitch if we didn't have Timberwolves in the goddamn yard. <laughs> yeah, but, bro, bro, like, that, that ain't got nothing to do with race. That's y'all nations. <laughs> I was like, listen, you you win this round, white mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't go to Shalmet when you come here. Bro, that shit was wild. And I was like, she told me I was too dark, and she got all these pictures of Wesley Snipes, the darkest nigga on earth. I'm, I'm sorry, you people, the darkest you people on earth. I'm yeah. this episode about to be demon. I'm sorry, Monty. I'm sorry. I tried. I really it just slipped out. The, the glare. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to step on you. Which one? The, yeah. the, the, the glare. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to step on your toes, sir. I'm sorry. No, the, you're good. You're good. Yeah, you got any uh, stories involving Timberwolves? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. There, there, there was a lot of red flags. Uh, like, cause it's weird because when, first of all, I have to judge the movie just as a movie, yeah. like. I'm a big Jordan Peele comedy fan. So for when he just started doing horror movies, I was like, this is awesome. You know, yeah. like, um, but I mean, let's face it. They're, they're really made to scare black people because <laughs> there was nothing really scary about that movie to me because I'm white. <laughs> so I was like, I don't see the problem here. You know, like, <laughs> I was like, if I was in that situation, I wouldn't have anything to worry about. I'd be like, what's going on? This is weird. You better get out, dude. You better get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Have, you know? I think they're trying like, to buy you, I man. I wouldn't stick around here if I were you, dude. Yeah. Like, because I'm not racist like them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Those yeah. are evil people. Yeah. I'm at least give you a warning, dude. You yeah. Know what These I mean? people but are I'm trying to buy you. You should go. You know, I wouldn't still play golf. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. There's a bar around the corner. I'll meet you there. You leave first. I'll catch up. I'll give. I'll, I'll leave an excuse. They won't find you. <laughs> but it's a good movie. It's a great yeah. movie. But I didn't mm-hmm. find it scary at all. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween in Collard Green.